Hey everyone, welcome to our new tutorial on how to save new RSS feeds as Notion's database items automatically. So guys, Notion is a database or note taking platform. And if you want to use it to track the RSS section of any website, this video is for you. So if you are a marketer, a researcher, a content creator, or just someone who want to stay up to date with the RSS feeds of a particular website, this video is for you. And here we are going to set up an effective and simple automation, which is going to connect the RSS feed of a website with Notion and it will save your time, your manual efforts and energy and manually taking the feeds and adding them into Notion's platform and you don't have to do it manually anymore. And guys, we are going to set up this automation without any coding. So let's dive right into it. To set up this automation, guys, we are using Pabbly Connect, which is an automation tool. And this is the landing page of Pabbly. And guys, uh, this I'm going to paste the link of this landing page in the description as well and from here you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks every month to test and set up your automation so you can just sign up right now from the given link and after that you have to sign in and reach the Pabbly Connect product and you will see the dashboard of Pabbly Connect like this and from here guys you just have to click on this create workflow button and here you can give a name to your workflows as well. So I'm giving the name here as RSS feeds to Notion. Okay. And after giving this name, just click on create button and you can see your workflow page is loading up here like this. And here guys, you will find these two modules, the trigger and the action. So with the help of these two things, you can set up any automation. So trigger is that event which is going to kickstart this workflow and the action would be the automated consequence or the response of the trigger. So here guys in our use case, uh, we are going to track any websites RSS section by connecting RSS by Pabbly feature here. So RSS by Pabbly uh, is a feature by which you can connect the RSS section of any website here in the trigger and as and when a new feed is added in the RSS uh, section of the website, this is going to trigger and captures the data. So in the trigger event, you have to select this new item in feed option. Okay, and then click on connect button. All right, and here you can see every 20 minutes is written here. This means this trigger is going to check for new feeds in every 20 minutes. And if it finds a new feed, the data will be captured here. Now to get the data here, first of all, you need to open the RSS section of any website. So here I am uh, the RSS section of uh, a website and here you can see uh, I am under the latest section. Okay, let me uh, back it. Okay, so this is the RSS, RSS section of NDTV and where is the latest to story section is here. So I'm going to open this or let's say I'm going to open Mm. cricket okay so this is the cricket section and here is the link of the cricket section so i'm going to copy this link from the search bar and i'm going to paste this link here in the feed url field of the trigger okay after that you can click on save and send test request button and the most recent feed published on this section will be fetched here like this so you can see guys we have received this title and here you can see if you bat a long time quotations Australia stars blunt take on a R Ashwin. Okay, so this is uh, the title capture. Let me show you the same title. This is the same title you can see. Okay, so we got captured here and you, the, you can see the publishing date is here. The link is here. The ISO date is here and the content is also here. You can see. Okay the content snippet is here. Now I want to add these things in uh, notions database. Okay, so you can do this for any purpose like for research or anything else. So I'm selecting notion here in this action step. And the action event we are going to use here is this create database item. Okay, after that, click on connect button, then click on add new connection, then click on connect with notion. And this will bring you to this window. 
from here you have to select your uh, page okay in notion then click on select pages then you have to select the space in which you are having the database you can select the database entries as well let me select it okay so i am unselecting few of the things i am selecting this one user research okay and here i am going to click on allow access let me so i'm clicking on allow access here and you can see the authorization is getting successful and we are connected with notion okay and now you can select the database name that is automatically selected as we have selected uh, previously while making the connection now it is asking for the publishing date the feed link and all the other things so guys i am going to use this data that i have received here from the rss section of the website and i'm going to map the labels here in these fields so to map the labels you just have to click here on this field and here you can see the previous step is appearing here in the drop down so when you click on it you will find all the data here only so from here i'm going to map uh, the publishing date here i'm going to map this iso date okay now for the feed link let me use the feed link here is the link map it in the email i'm leaving it blank because we do not have any email in the content let me map the content snippet or the content label like this okay in the feed title let me map the title okay so it is asking for the content one more time okay so you can leave it or map it again right now you can check your connection with notion by clicking on save and send test request button and your uh, uh, content here or the things that you have mapped here will be added in this database in these rows okay so this is user research database we have selected here now let me click on save and send test request button and let's see what happens okay so this is the response we have received let us check in notion if we got the data added okay and here you can see guys we got the data added and here you can see the feed title is added here the content is added here publishing date is here the feed link is here these are all the things that we have mapped and we got the data placed here automatically in this database named as user research so this is how it is going to work guys so we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up it only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow after that whenever there is a new feed in rss section of the website that you have used this trigger is going to check in every 20 minutes if there is a new feed and it it will trigger the workflow and the feed will be added in this database automatically and guys you can use this workflow as well as i'm going to paste the link of this workflow in the description you can clone it in your own free public connect account and start using this automation instantly guys thank you so much for watching our video and please please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section and if you have any queries related to this application please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel